My lab studies the neural basis of motivated behaviors. These are behaviors that range all the way from the most basic desires and instincts, such as food seeking, reproductive behaviors, etc., all the way to the things that make us uniquely human as well, social interaction, decision making, things like that. One of the interesting things that led us to studying the lateral hypothalamus in the context of feeding behavior was really some observations that were made over 50 years ago. When this area of the brain is electrically activated, it produces very voracious feeding behavior as well as reinforcement behavior. The animals will work incredibly hard to receive electrical stimulation of this region of the brain. But at the cellular level, um, in terms of what cell types and circuits are orchestrating this, really hasn't been worked out. And so that was something that we wanted to focus on in our work. What we did was to first introduce these uh, calcium indicators into these GABAergic neurons in the lateral hypothalamus. We then implanted these very small lenses, endoscopic lenses, and those uh, lenses interface with the endoscopic's microscope, the Invista system. And so what this allows us to do is to uh, essentially image through the lens deep into the brain to resolve activity dynamics of these cells, these GABAergic neurons. And so in doing that, we could record the activity selectively of these cells during naturalistic behavioral tasks, such as uh, foraging behavior, feeding behavior, as well as uh, motivated behaviors where the animals had to work and respond for the food. So that allowed us to really for the first time uncover that at the individual cellular level, we saw cells that were responsive to the feeding events, the consumatory events, but also different cells, completely segregated cells that were responsive to uh, the motivated behavioral events. And so what that means is that we may be able to devise strategies to selectively modulate consumatory behavior, such as feeding behavior, without directly modulating motivated behaviors. You can imagine potential therapeutics for things like obesity or eating disorders. Invista system from Enscopics really allowed us to monitor activity of uh, genetically defined populations of neurons in the brain of awake and behaving um, animals, which is really unprecedented. One of the other major advantages, the technology potentially allows you to record activity patterns from the same neurons over multiple recording sessions, days to weeks to months. That's going to be really important for tracking how neuronal activity dynamics change over the course of, say, a drug treatment or some sort of long-term exposure. Working with Enscopics was really helpful for us because, well, first they were very responsive to our questions and helping us kind of get set up. Many of the scientists and people there are um, really invested in seeing other people's experiments succeed and seeing the technology succeed. You know, I think there's a strong sense of community in terms of what we're working towards.